The Elk Valley is important to so many people for so many different reasons. There's world-class recreation here right next to world-class mining, and that's not super common. And, and I think what's really important for me is to be able to find ways that we can protect both of those uses so that I can do this for my, the rest of my career as well as my kids if they want to. My name is Rob Klein, and I'm a research and development technical program lead here, and I coordinate a lot of the environmental research that happens in the Valley. The goal of the research and development program is, is twofold. So we're really focused on looking at how do we passively treat water, as well as how we can change the design of mines in the first place to prevent any water quality issues. So the easiest one to talk about is saturated fills. So what we do in mining is we mine holes in the ground. Eventually through rain and snow, those holes will fill up with water. And then through the mining process, we come and we'll backfill those holes with rock. So when you look at it from the surface, all you see would be a pile of rocks. But underneath the surface, there's a large area of rock that is saturated with water. So what occurs in those areas are microbes or bugs or bacteria that will naturally change the form of selenium and nitrate to remove them from the water. So they breathe, they live the same way you and I do. They will eat food, they break it down into carbon compounds, and they take electrons off that carbon and use it to fuel their body. Once they're done with that electron, they have to put it somewhere. If they're in an env environment like this, they'll put it on oxygen. It changes it to carbon dioxide and it leaves the water. If you are in an environment where there's no oxygen, those same bacteria will take electrons and they'll put them onto nitrate. They'll change it from nitrate to nitrogen gas and it'll return to the atmosphere. Selenium is the same process. If the bugs don't have oxygen, they don't have nitrate, they'll then use selenium. They'll take that electron, put it onto selenium, and it changes form from one that's really soluble and it'll stay in the water to one that'll come out. What I want people to know is that tech is a leader. There's significant resources being dedicated to developing these technologies, and they can fundamentally change how we approach treating water in the valley.